<laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Bob Weir with another interview of uh, people in the news in North Texas. My guests today are Flower Mound Councilman Cla Claudio Forrest and former Flower Mound Councilman Don McDaniel. Councilman Forrest is also president of the Summit Club. Thank you guys for being Thank here. You, Bob. Thank you, Bob. If you would begin, one of you to uh, tell our viewers a little bit about the Summit Club. Okay, well, we've been around since 1974. Uh, Summit Club kind of started uh, with a lot of turmoil here in town during annexation days and so the, the leadership of town kind of decided to do something that is non-political and started this club to do good for the community. So we've uh, run with it and uh, I think we've come a long way over the last you know 30 plus years and uh, so we are now striving to do more for kids for education in town. Uh, we do every year uh, our uh, academic achievement awards that go to uh, uh, sixth and eighth graders um, at every school uh, for math, English, science, I believe. That's part right. of the three. Mm -hmm. um, we have a endowment at uh, NCTC locally that we give out uh, once a year to a, um, um, a student. Flower Mound student. Flower Mound student. Right. And, and then, this, uh, uh, this is an all men's club, right? This is that is correct. We are a, a fraternal organization. Right. Uh, we are a 501c3 charity, and um, uh, we try to support other charities in town. We, and, and you we have, are the guys known as the hot dog boys. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, I remember that well. Many years, <laughs> many years right. selling hot dogs. Uh, you have a counterpart, uh, the female counterpart, in the, uh, uh, the women, women of Flower, Flower Mound. Right. right. So, and, right. and they're about six months uh, younger. Right, they that's started, right. They, yeah. they started just a, a little bit after we did, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. And that's been a great, uh, two, two great organizations Absolutely. throughout the years. Um, so you, there are lots of fun uh, groups that you contribute to when you raise money at the various events. Right. Uh, and so um, how does somebody join the Summer Club? Well, they just have to be breathing. <laughs> um, that's one of our criteria, right? Yeah. And willing to uh, contribute to the town, um, you know, ch charities. We we don't t take attendance. Um, right. You know, the dues are sixty dollars a year, so they're very minimal. Uh, we have a meeting once a month at uh, Gabriella and Sophia's here in town, and uh, discuss things that we're doing and how we're going to spend our money that we raise and. Um, it's very easy to join. Just have to show up. We'll yeah. buy your first meal for you at the yeah. meeting. Yeah. Uh, and actually, it's it's super easy to get more information about the Summit Club at summitclub.org. That'll tell you everything you want to know, including our schedule of events coming up and our next meeting. Right. And uh, we invite anybody to reach out to us through that website um, or just show up at the meeting because we're, we're always happy to have new members. Right. It's a great yeah. organization. And the, yeah. and the only real criteria that the Summit Club has is that you have to be either a resident or have involvement in the town. Right. Whether right. it's a business or something local. A nonprofit. Nonprofit that or you know works in the town. That's uh, <clears> your <throat> only it, criteria to be As you said, your meetings are um, uh, the held the first Thursday of each month at right. six thirty at that uh, at Gabriel Gabriella and Sophia's in Parker Square. Correct. Right. Right. Now we want to talk about a major annual event that you have coming up on yeah. March second. You want to tell us about that? Yeah. So March second is our sixth annual uh, Western Saloon and Casino Night. It is a great event held out at Circle R Ranch. Um, we have it starts with a, a fantastic ranch style barbecue buffet, uh, dessert table. We have dancing, uh, a live casino, um, raffles, door prizes, a silent auction, a photo booth. Uh, this year we're going to have a, a, a little added event, so we're going to have the Sam Pack patio where there will be uh, hand rolled cigars and uh, local whiskey available. Uh, it's going to be a really good time and, and one of the things that we're most proud about this event uh, this year is we have taken on as our partners and our beneficiaries for this event the uh, Professional Firefighters Association and the Police Officers Association of Flower Mound are partnering with us on this event. Um, we really feel like that is a great partnership with our organization to support those folks that, that do so much for us in our community. And so we, uh, we're going to have a bunch of firefighters and policemen there that aren't on duty at the time and their families and of course all of 
uh, leadership and the who's who of, of Southern Denton County will be there. And it is just a great time, uh, an easy way to, to raise some money and, and do some good. Yeah. So the, the lion's share of the funds raised at the event will go to those two, or, two organizations. But we do keep uh, some of it back for our ongoing um, charities and support uh, that we give to local nonprofits here, like Claudia said, to the um, robotics clubs at all the middle schools and high schools in the western zone uh, or in the flower mount feeder pattern. Um, the uh, endowment at NCTC, which w we're hoping... WTF. We're ho WTF. We're hoping to start another endowment at NCTC. We also support WTF, uh, Keep Flower Mount Beautiful. Um, the Mound Foundation. The Mound Foundation. Um, let's see. Um, Adaptive Training Foundation, a number of different organizations here in the area, and so those, so all of the funds from this event get dispersed right back out into nonprofits in our community to wow. support our community. Yep. That's great. Yeah, and and as you can see, folks, we have several props here. And, uh, <laughs> my uh, my wife and lovely uh, videographer has uh, done a nice job of displaying, <laughs> and uh, and so uh, I'd gamble on this uh, one anytime, folks. Oh. Ooh, a oh, seven. seven right off the bat. Like look at that. that. And we're not lying. Look at that. He rolled a seven right off the like bat. That. Um, I, I think that's a sign right there. That's a pretty good sign. Right. I'll, I'll bet some more on that. <laughs> so we invite people to go. We've made it very simple to get tickets on our website, yep. summitclub.org. Click on the Western Saluda Casino night, and tickets are available right there. Uh, we're actually offering a, um, a little bit of a discount if you and your, your significant other or somebody from your office wants to go with you. Uh, tickets are typically $75 a piece, but if you buy two or more, it's $130 for the pair. So it's a, it's a really good value. Each ticket includes dinner and dessert, as we talked about, $1,000 worth of chips to play the casino games, uh, two adult beverage tickets, and an entry into our door drawing, our door prize drawing, which is probably the most exciting thing of all. It is a wagon full of wine. Typically around 35 to 40 bottles of wine. That yeah. goes as the door prize, and people love that thing. And I promise we'll help you load it in your car if you win. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you have a silent auction, of course. Yes, sir, a huge silent auction. auction. Over 40 different baskets and, and items to bid yeah, on. Always some great values yes, sir. on Absolutely. those things as well. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'd say this is, a, this is a heck of a deal. Because I've, I've been to enough of them to know. First of all, the greatest barbecues. I mean, that that is some. There's so much barbecue and beans and potato salad and all the other stuff desserts. It's a fantastic uh, evening for that for that small price. Really. It is, and it and it really is a great community way to to support local nonprofits and kids. It's just it's the most direct way that I know of yep. the community to put exactly. money right back into your local community. And you get to. Uh, to mingle with people in the community because it's right here, it's right down, it's right over at the uh, Circle R Ranch yes, on 1171. So, uh, you, I, I know you probably will get hundreds of people at this event. You usually do. We're expecting so, about 300 people. This 300 year. people, and a lot of uh, times it's uh, some of the elected officials are there. Uh, sure. You know, we, yeah. we have just about everybody that's in town at that time uh, yeah. come out, yeah. and it's a great, it's a great event. It really is. Yeah. So uh, let me see. Uh, there's uh, there's so much more I can talk about this, but uh, what what do you guys want to add? Do you, do you have any other things that you want to talk about? This? My main goal here is to just let people know about the event and really to talk about yeah. the Summit Club as an organization. Uh, we would love to see uh, folks. Well, I tell you, we got to toot our own horn a little bit. Uh, the Summit Club was just uh, selected as the uh, service organization of the year for Flower Mountain this year, and we're very proud yep. of that. And Definitely. that really goes uh, says a lot about our members and the and the good works that they do here in town supporting local nonprofits. So, um, if you're interested at all. Please come out and see us. Send us an email. We'll tell you how you can get involved. It's a great group. Um, and maybe just come out to Western Saloon Casino Night and meet us all there and, and shake some hands and get to know us and then see us uh, at our next meeting. We'd love to see you there. Yep. Well, that's, that's great. Uh, you, you guys have done a fantastic job. Uh, and of course, the Summit Club, throughout all these years, you know, <clears throat> uh, I don't go to a lot of the meetings. Uh, but I used to go uh, pretty regularly, and you know, Paul Stone and I, uh, you know, we used to sell hot dogs uh, like hundreds of hundreds at a time. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, as people come through to some of these events, and they, we had some great time with Al Picardi. Uh, yes, sir. And, you know, so many great people in the in the club. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for all that you do in the community, and uh, and thank you for coming to promote this wonderful event. Thank well, you thank so you, much. Bob. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate we it. Really appreciate you. Yep.
Thank you very and much. And come out and see us. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you for watching.